Hi everyone, my name is Bart Reed, and once again it's my pleasure to give you a walkthrough of the NPM functionality in Microsoft's Node Tools for Visual Studio. Now those of you who've already used the NTVS Alpha will notice quite a lot of changes in the beta. Uh, we've made quite a few improvements and the first and most obvious of which I'm going to demonstrate to you now. Um, I have this blank express project and you can see that all my NPM modules are missing. However, if I go to the context menu I can now execute npm install from there and you can see in the output window uh, that npm is chuntering away in the background installing my missing modules excellent it looks like npm's installed all my modules correctly you can see here that they're no longer marked as missing you might also have noticed that we've got the update command on the context menu and there's also now this global modules node that will allow you to manage your global npm modules directly from the tree but let's have a look at the new Manage NPM Modules dialog. So this is something that we've completely rewritten for the beta. Uh, and we basically wanted, we wanted to make it a lot more usable and to give you a lot more information. So for example, you can see that I've got Express installed and that my, my project's actually specified that it wants version 3.44. But you can see that there's a newer version available and it's telling me about that new version. So if I wanted to, I could just update that from here. Um, and you can see that we've got the NPM output here. You can resize that so that you can see more of what's going on if you really want to. Um, for me, I'm not necessarily that interested in that right now. I just trust it to sort of work. Um, the other nice thing, right, so previously you had to wait for each NPM command to complete. Now you can just click on multiple modules and start installing them. Uh, so that's obviously quite a big improvement. We still support, obviously, the installing of standard development optional modules and of course globals as well so let's say I want to install Express globally I'll just do that um, and you can see I've got all these commands queued so it's going through all the commands I've asked it to execute and what's great as well if I want to get on with working now if I want to start writing some code in my project I can just close that and it will carry on running in the background Great, so it looks like all those packages have installed as well. Uh, there's one more thing I'd like to show you, um, which is a, a function up here in the filter box. So the filter box really performs two functions. So one is that it obviously filters down the list of packages and helps you search for packages you're interested in. But you can also use it as a sort of generic command line for the npm install command. So you can add flags and the text will change to show you that this is a command that it's going to execute. Um, where this comes in really useful is if you actually don't want the latest version of a package, if you want to install an earlier version. So let's say I didn't want version 0.6 of SAX, but I wanted a slightly earlier version. Um, there is one thing I should say about this. That is literally the command that's going to execute there. So if I want to save this as a dependency in my package.json, I also need to specify the minus minus save flag um, and now if I run that it will literally run npm install sax version 0.5 and it will save that version I've asked it for approximately version 0.5 um, because honestly I've no, ver no idea if version 0.5 actually exists but let's see what comes back okay so you can see over here it's come back and it's installed sax 0.58 so that's kind of cool and uh, as before, if you want to install packages nowadays, you can do this directly from the tree. So you don't need to go into the package management dialog, you can just install, uninstall via the tree. And you can see it's actually uninstalled down here in the output. And in second, and you can see that the package has also now disappeared from the Solution Explorer tree. So that's shown you most of what you can do with NPM in No Tools for Visual Studio. I hope that's been useful for you. Uh, if you've got any feedback or questions, please do let us know. We would love to hear from you. Thanks very much.